Okay, welcome to another video of Science Mr. Robertson. And now we're looking further at space, beyond Earth, the Sun and the Moon, to the entire solar system. And of course, as said this before, the Sun, our central star, is at the middle of that solar system. And it's very, very big. So big it's off the screen. But our sun here. And although it's not something I need you to know about, knowing the planets is very important. They come up in many different cultures, Roman and Greek cultures, especially Roman was very strong when the planets are an important part of our life. Um and of course we can go out for the eight planets we know about now. Starting with Mercury, very small planet, closest one to the Sun. Venus, known as Earth's sister planets, planet, very close in size to the Earth. Earth is slightly bigger and Earth is the third planet from the Sun. Mars, which is quite a small planet but a very interesting one for us as humans. And then come lots of things here called asteroids. They're not classified as planets, they're not big enough, but there are many, many thousands of them in between Mars and our biggest planet, Jupiter. The biggest planet of the solar system. Very different to the others here. And then we've come very close here with the rings. We have Saturn. And finally, hopefully you can see, it's a bit smaller than that. We have Uranus and Neptune. Just about on. Uh, Neptune, perfect. So there are the eight planets we know about in the solar system. And a lot of things here are quite simple but quite complicated. For example, if I look at this, I, I know the sun is so important. The sun gives out almost all the energy of the solar system. So I would say Mercury must be the hottest planet. And it is very hot. And in fact, if you look through, the planets all get colder and colder and colder the further away from the sun they are except for Venus. Venus is the hottest planet, which is amazing. Venus has greenhouse gases on its atmosphere. Very strong sulfur dioxide, very acidic. All of these greenhouse gases trap the heat around Venus. Keep it hot. Get it hotter and hotter and hotter. We talk on Earth about climate change. We talk about global warming. We talk about things like carbon dioxide being bad for the environment, making our ice caps melt at the Arctic and Antarctic. At Venus, the temperatures can reach 400 degrees Celsius. On Earth, we're never going to get to that stage, but even on Earth, a few degrees higher or lower could destroy many plant and animal habitats at the moment. There's no chance at all of us being able to live on Venus. It's way too hot, and Mercury is as well. Mars is much more interesting. There's been research, very, very recent, on the last couple of years, a probe has been out to Mars, and we've found direct evidence that in the past, not now, but in the past, there was liquid water on the surface of Mars. It's got a bit too cold now. These parts are too hot, and all of these are too cold. So... I can draw a big thing here saying too cold and a thing here 
staying too hot. Earth is just right. We believe that liquid water is essential for life. If it was too hot, all the water and liquids would evaporate. We'd be going all over the place. It'd be no use at all. We wouldn't get reactions. We wouldn't get cells beginning. We wouldn't get life. Couldn't start. If it's too cold, it's all frozen solid. It can't move freely. It's ice. It would not be able to get life starting. Only Earth is the lucky one that life can survive on. And that's fascinating. The ability of water is one of the most important things about Earth. And as you go further out, way beyond here, to try and find our nearest other star, it will take Billions and billions of miles. Earth is very, very lucky. For this video, it's important to know about all the planets. Know Jupiter is the biggest. Know, for example, these here are what we call gas giants. Lots of gases coming together make those planets. Whereas all of these close to the sun are made as rocky planets. That's interesting, there's a difference. And we'll try and explain more in the classroom. But the makeup of our solar system is this. And humans are exploring the other planets. Maybe being able to find somewhere to live. We are trying to find ways to live on Mars. We haven't done so yet. That's it for this video. Thank you very much.